Hello everybody, welcome back on this wonderful Monday evening. We have some EAFC 24 action and we have Real Madrid taking on Real, Real Madrid. Madrid. <laughs> Would you look at that? And it's going to be a quick attack, but it's going to be out for a goal kick. Right, I mean, from what I know uh, this year about EAFC, the lob throughs aren't necessarily, I know they were very meta back in EAFC 24, but they're a little harder this time to nail down in EAFC 25. So it'll be interesting to see how the players are able to just play around that. I don't know. Yeah, and it's going to be Divine on the right. That's the Saints player. And Domi 10, the dinch attack. Great save from Courtois, but the follow-up shot from Mbappe is there. And that's going to be the first goal going over to Domi 10. Right, so again, Domi 10 uh, from Oklahoma City Community College. And Divine is from St. Clair. So again, right now, Domi 10 doing a good job oh, finding the first goal. But a bad turnover is going to be played through, offside. but I believe offside being the call. It's a great job there for playing the high line on the defense. Yeah, the Vine going to look to push something up this the right field side. Valverde has it, pass it back to Rodrigo. Has a lot of space to work with, pass it back to Vinny. Pass it back to Rodrigo. Now Vinny has it in the middle, looks for something. Pass it to Valverde out wide, finds Rodrigo in the middle. Nice shot fake, Mbappe has it in the box, shot on target. And just like that, we're going to be tied up at one of these. Well, great job, Tiki Taka being played around the front. So uh, honestly, I think the play definitely started to change when Wichemeni was able to find the open man. But now, lob through, picked out. Oh. But it will be very careful on the side of Divine to try to find the through ball through to Rodri, Rodrigo. And now it's going to have to be played out of Valverde with a good pick. And now it is going to be the counter attack. But defense comes up strong, able to find the steal, and they will be able to play back now on their own. Yeah, early in this game, Divine definitely having a lot more possession of the ball while Adami looks for these counter attacks. He's going to look for a pass here, but Mendy should be able to hit that one out. That should be the Vine's ball. He will be able to have them pass it back to Rudiger, who gives it back to Vinny. He has a lot of space down this left side, pass it to the middle to Mbappe. As Mbappe works over one defender, looks to get behind the second as Vinny is through the chip over pass, almost makes it through, but Carvajal is there for the stop. A bit of a dangerous pass to the middle, but Dami 10 retakes possession. And now it is going to be Dami 10 oh. to try to see if he can find anything up on the offense, but it's a slow build. It's going to get picked off now, passing down to Vinny, but no, not quite. The first touch just not the best, and now Dami 10 will look to take over. Yeah, the counterattack has begun, finds the opening pass and has uh, on this right side Carvajal. Looks for a pass, maybe down the line to Mbappe. Mbappe has that speed to get by Mendy. We'll get into the box and see if he can find a pass into the middle. Will he take it himself? Doesn't get through just yet, but still in a dangerous position. Gets it to Bellingham. Cavaminga has a shot from outside the box, but it is blocked out. And it's going to be the line looking for the counterattack. The pause is cute, so maybe some the tactic changes, but there's a good ball into the middle to to Rodrigo, but just gets on the outside, does have it, might look for a back post cross, won't look for that one, pass into the middle step to Valverde, who gets it to Bellingham, looks for another pass into the middle, but has to get a bit more shots off on target when you're in such a position. Now the counterattack is coming through, but it looks like Dami 10's uh, counterattack style hasn't been working well so far. Right, I mean, any time that Dami's tried to counterattack, uh, the Vinyls obviously has a really good job just picking off the runs on, especially Mendy, I believe that's a, like the third possession loss I've seen from him so really good job on the ball recoveries from him oh. Rodri now not able to get past the defender can he try to pass out to Tusha many as he can and now playing around Mbappe trying to make shot. the run inside finds the shot not quite though great save out yeah almost a goal there you can see a lot of chances here for the vibe but now the counter attack is quick one more pass and that could have been trouble it's going to be a chaotic game I can tell you that it's going to pass back down the line looks for it but it does not have the good angles Tusha many gets the steal pass up to Bellingham, who's going to look for a pass through to Vinny, takes it down this left side, looks to take it around the defender. Some silky smooth sm moves there, but the pass is not good. And now the counter attack begins for Divine. Pass it down the right side to Valverde, who's going to look for Rodrigo down this left side. But the pass into the middle is poor. It's taken away, but it's going to be with Bellingham. Pass it back to Mbappe. Now gives it to Vinicius Jr. down this left flank. Looks to take on the defender, but Carvajal with beautiful defense. We're still tied at one. 
And the Vine's done that multiple times. I really love on those left backs and right backs what he's able to do on the side of the defense. He's not letting the wingers get anything going on the wide areas of the pitch. So right now, as the Vine tries to oh, spread nice out play. his own attack, a through ball down to Rodrigo. Uh, he's going to be able to find the back of the net. A great play by the Vine. And now we'll have to see what happens at the end of this pause. Maybe a sub or a lineup change. But again, so far, the Vine going up. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice goal there. A nice through ball finds the man. And Dami has been leaving these open gaps in his defense that leads to these goals. You can see, got a very early goal off the save, but hasn't had a shot on target since. And, you know, a couple of nice chances from Divine in the box with Mbappe is able to put those away. And go up to one, you know, we have a bit of a break. What do you think of the fact that both teams are playing with Real Madrid in this matchup? Well, I can't lie, it's a little confusing to cast, <laughs> um, but I understand why. Because they are simply, like, the best team in the yeah, world right now. So, I mean, what what do you really want to do, right? Like, I, I <laughs> it's not. I have a feeling that you're going to see a lot of that, actually, in these collegiate matchups. It's just a bunch of people just picking Real Madrid. Yeah. And if you don't, I mean... I can kind of see why you'd end up suffering for that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The stronger team gets picked for a reason. But we're back on track. Dami finds a nice pass to Mbappe by Rudiger. Is there with the header? It's going to be the first corner of the matchup here for Dami Tan. He plays it short to Kevin Minga. Looks to take it around one defender. Gets it back to Valverde. It's going to be a cross here. Now he's going to walk up here. All the pressure has really fallen off here. He does have the ball with Bellingham on this left side, but all that defenders dropping back. Definitely a good opportunity to cross it in there, I thought, but nothing found uh, there. Now there's a through ball looming into the middle, but just too much dribbling from Dami Ten gives the Vine one more chance to push in at the end of this half. The ball in the air won't be too good as Vinicius, not the tallest player, won't win out that header, but Mbappe is going to have it up the field here. Looks for a through ball that was probably offside anyway, but not able to find it. And these last passes from Dami Ten in the clutch just haven't been there, but the Vine struggling to answer back on his attacks, also rushing those a little bit too much. I think both players need to calm down a little bit and play well under pressure in the final third. That's a beautiful pass to Mbappe. First time finish and just like that, Dami ties it up to that shot on target that he was looking for for a while now. Gets it there with a beautiful pass and Mbappe finds the finish to tie us up at two. Right, I mean, off the volley as well. It's just so nice. Great first time finish. And again, you do see he does have the acrobatic play style, so that does help volleys like that. You know, there's not really much that Courtois could do uh, in that scenario. So a great goal by Dami Ten ties it up to all. Now let's see with this second half getting underway what the Vine can do to respond. Yeah, so now the Vine's on the left side. It's going to be on the left side. Well, Dami. after, after, yeah, yeah. yeah after, after the half, half yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So let's see how that matches up and 2-2 in the first half a close game both players having their chances but just not able to take a big lead here but i think divine definitely uh, playing a little bit stronger both of dami's goals just kind of came from a counter attack so uh, he's he's made a bit more passes has had the possession for most of the time and there is the ball to mbappe can he find another pass to the middle valve is right there can he find a shot on target beautiful travail but a nice save from courtois Cabral tries to keep it, keep it in, but won't go. First corner. Now for the bind. Can he find anything with this cross? You see he's picked down Militao, but it's a terrible cross right into the keeper's hands. Right, and again, you know, poor from Carvajal. Oh. I can see the corner there. And, I mean, very questionable passing. Does oh, he have the chip? No, no not quite. A little too Can't far out. I think he could have definitely taken more time, but lacks composure overall on the counterattack. Or not the counterattack, just the attack in general. Uh, but, again, you know, Dami Ten doing a good job at least just staying strong. Vine definitely going to wish that he had that one back. And now Dami Ten moving up the pitch. Kamavinga going to get picked off by Tushameni. And now it is going to be uh, Mendy with the ball down to Kamavinga. Picked off yet again. That's twice now. But the outside of the boot able to find the pass. The through down to Mbappe. Klian not able to get the finish. Great tackle from Rudiger. And now down to Vinny. You can see Dami's very careless with his passes, but it just bounced back to him a couple times there, but still Divine able to hold on through that pressure. Now it's an attack of his own, looks for the chip pass, but I don't know how well that one would work there with the left foot. Definitely a hard one to pull off. Still, tie game at 2-2, anyone's game, but 
feel like the Vine definitely putting on the pressure. You can see the counterattack here. He has to play the composure. Nice oh touch no. from Mbappe. There should be a goal. Mbappe takes it around the defender and gives the Vine a 3-2 lead. And if you're Dami 10 there, you just got to have your head in the hands. Miss tackle and just not the right input. You almost want to jockey that instead. Just make sure that he can't get past because Mbappe with that blazing speed. The second your character stops at all, he can just sprint. I know sprinting is not necessarily all that great in EFC, but right now players usually like to RB and LB dribble, but again, with Mbappe, that just goes out of the air. That, that's not even a question. If you stand still, the blazing speed of Kylian will be able to put you over. So a great job of recognizing oh. that from Dami 10. What a goal. Oh, I thought for a second it was going to be able to find the pass in the inside, but as you called, offside on that lob through, unfortunately. Yeah, so. I mean, that was great uh, team play there, but just offside for Dami. A bit more signs of a life as Bit of a long pass here coming out. 1v2, Rodrigo somehow gets it, but a pass out of bounds from the bind. Uh, definitely a miss input there. It's going to be another mistake. Can Adami look to capitalize? That's a through ball right there. Two, Bellingham takes a touch, but two defenders. I think if he just passed that one on the ground, that would have been a very easy opportunity. But another giveaway from the bind, who's kind of falling apart here, even with the lead, has to keep his head in this game. And he does have the lead. Bellingham has it. A very, very rough pass to Mbappe. There's now Vinny. He's gonna have it for the Vine. Pass it to Mbappe and he gets it. Still with Rodrigo, plays it to Mbappe, but just the worst location possible for that pass. Anywhere else would have been a clear one on one chance. And you can see these players, when they have these chances, just kind of throwing them away for nothing. And again, I think it's kind of the story of this game as the attack comes down. We'll see what happens. Oh, it is nice. going to be Mbappe dribbling past Carvajal, trying to pick out maybe a sweaty, but no, not quite. It is going to fall, oh, and Courtois is able to gather it. What I will say from both of these players is what I'm noticing, and Theo, you probably noticed this too. There are a lot of times where they're rushing their throughs, especially on the ground, when you could honestly just use your LB, cut in, and then take that extra touch, and it'll open up the lane to be a lot oh. wider. Lob down to Mbappe. He it's should outside. have the first touch, trying to find the net, and he's going to do just that off the half volley. A great job there from Kilian to find the back of the net. And now I believe it is going to be uh, for Divine who ends up going up 4-2. to two. Yeah, that's a big goal. Another just giveaway from Adami. Lose it from his own left back and just a very wide open pass. But a great pass made from Divine to take the 4-2 lead here. You can see over the top works out yet again. Vinny looks to take it down the line. Does have the angle. Can he find a pass into the middle? Rodrigo pass back to Valverde. Looks for the trip well and finds it five to lead now for the and now he's finally capitalizing on those mistakes and just blowing his opponent out of the water he tried that last time too he really loves that outside boot yeah. with valverde and i mean you just proves why an absolutely class strike out of the vine so now we'll see how dami can respond but it seems like the mental is kind of becoming a little bit of a game for him because he's not really connecting now oh. with his passes. you just <laughs> see he's literally good. just dribbling it out of his own end so again that right side Tick dribble was again nerfed, uh, I believe, two EFCs ago. So, again, uh, you know, not the move there. He's lacking composure. Oh, Passes now from the vine, but a little too hard of a first touch. There's something I'll touch on is that in EFC 25, the first touches are a little bit scuffed. So, that might kind of be why you're seeing players rush the through balls immediately. They don't want to take that touch and cut in, like I was saying. Oh, however, this one's going to be oh, found. A, save. a great save from Courtois. Oh, offside anyway. <laughs> Would have been offside, though, as you just pointed out. So, Good from uh, the Vines defense for playing a high line there and recognizing the run. Yeah, it's been a couple of times now that the Vines had that a good a line. They've been able to keep uh, the same line and make the offside happen. Now a through ball on the ground. Nice pass there, but great intervention from uh, Dami Tena. Now he has Mbappe through on goal. Want to take that big touch, use his pace, but nice couple rollovers, but the pass through is just not good. I think he should take a shot there if possible. As Gonna pass it back to the goalie off the header. Some time wasted techniques showed off by Divine here. He's very close to taking this game one. Has the pass down the line. Does he decide to play it? I'm not sure. Carvajal definitely probably found that one out, but it looks like we have a bit of lag on our stream, unfortunately. So, you know, game is practically over 5 to 84 minutes in. Um, and, you know, we're right back in. We have a good mechanical fix technical 
people who fix all our stuff every Shout out to the back room. <laughs> Shout out to the back room. But with four minutes left, it's going to be Damian. One final attack. Should be able to find a pretty simple goal here. Nice pass. But no, I think that one was the one you want to put in the air because the only way to find power on it. And you could see the line just kind of waiting for this clock to expire. Might push for one more, but I think he's going to pass it around the back and take his first game with three. Well, it's good keeper movement as well from Divine, recognizing that the ball is coming through whether he likes it or not. He's going to hold down, whether he's on Xbox or PlayStation, triangle or wide, and just move that keeper up off his line. PlayStation, yeah, so holding on a triangle. Great job there from Divine. Uh, and honestly, it was looking a little bit ropey in the first half, I won't lie, like yeah. the start. Uh, again, I think it was just Divine having to take time and get settled into the game, but he's done a great job at that. This attack now, threw ball down to, I believe, Exactly no, but again, they almost found the uh, the shooter, and it's going to be one that Domi Ten wishes he had back again. I think that Domi Ten could have actually done a better job there. A couple of his through balls, especially on the ground, were lacking a little bit. Uh, not very good vision. I feel like he could have maybe take taken an extra touch. Uh, there were some times where he was kind of in that pocket where you could afford, if you're on the LB dribble or the RB dribble, to take an extra touch, sort yourself out, and then through down to your shooters. And again, I do think that uh, Domi just had more composure when it came to the finishes. We saw some uh, some shots on net that really should have been converted uh, if you were Domi Ten. So we'll see if they try to bounce back next game. Who knows? We, you know, so far, I like the way the Vine's playing. I think he's yep. played the better game, and hopefully we can get a little quick, easy 2-0. But yep. before we find out the result of that, we're going to be throwing it to a quick break, and we'll be right back in a minute.
All right, everybody, welcome back. It looks like we have some different teams. Manchester City gonna be the pick here for Domi and Divine staying with that Real Madrid side. I like the switch up here. Man City, probably the second best team in the world behind Real Madrid, have so many good players. You know, you hear that Mbappe Holland argument all the time. He's gonna have Holland on his hands this time, as now the attack starts again for Divine. He has a good. He had a good start last time. You know, he did go down 1-0 early, but uh, composed out through the first half. That's gonna be an offside there from both players early on as a, what do you think of this Man City swap up for Domi? I actually like it from Domi. I think it show. Hold on though. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. What? What? <laughs> I think it should prove. <laughs> Keeper should have probably not conceded a corner not there. Do that. No. Uh, but anyway, I, I think the test is going to be simple. If they're using real time lineups, that means that Rodri isn't in that defense because uh, he's currently injured for the rest of the year. But if he is, that could be a lot better for shutting down the Vines uh, attacks. So again, Roger, one of the best players in the world, especially on the defensive side. He's, he's, he's for, uh, up for Ballon d'Or contention. Yeah. So again, someone who you want to keep your eyes on if they are on the pitch. If not, then my mistake. And I guess we're just going to have to go without him. Oh, that was... Again, you would have thought that was on. He probably should have taken the run, but quick nerves got to him. The lob threw down to Jeremy Doku. And now we'll have to see Doku, a little bit of a dribble merchant, I like to call him, because he doesn't really do much more than that, looking like how he does in real life as well, just dribbles and gives the ball away. Yeah, I mean, Doku tried something on that right left side, but could not find it, but Rodri is in the lineup, gets the steal there, but passes it out to De Bruyne, who loses it immediately. And now it's going to be Rodrigo taking on the whole team, gives it to Mbappe, nice little step over there, finds the shot, what a goal there from the Vine. Just a nice solo goal. I would like to see that a little bit more from the Vine, just taking the one-on-one -on -one and having the shot instead of trying to over overcompensate with those passes. And now yet again, you can see the mine on the attack. Valverde, not a good pass to Rodrigo. It's gonna be stopped out by Man City. As they regain position in their half, but gives it away. Mbappe to Mbappe. <laughs> gonna miss what? that chance though with the left foot. You thought that would guaranteed be a goal, but Domi getting away with murder there still has to keep his hand in the game because a lot of FIFA left to go. Going down 2-0 so early on would have been devastating. I mean, just a lack in composure there, I guess, is all I have to call out there. I uh, Questionable pass down to Vardio, but we'll see what happens. Rodri is in the lineup. I can confirm that now. Lob through the Jeremy Doku, but he's beat out by Carvajal. So that's going to be probably an interesting matchup match just to yeah. see how Carvajal can manage. I know he's a little more of a faster right back, so we'll have to see how he manages with Doku. And if he can shut down that wing play, that'll be interesting to see what uh, Domi 10 will do because right now so far that's kind of been his motive down to Erling and now Erling trying to find a pass he's dribbling very deep back I really don't agree with that I think just pass it back to your just pass it back to your cent uh, center mids there's no reason there not to pass it back to the midfield oh. you don't got to panic and force touch that's what's going to happen and now it is going to be Foden on the ball tries to make a pass down to Holland but again just poor passing options I think that right now Domi 10 focuses less on the offense you got to just be able to keep possession I think that's going to be the big thing for him to try to do and now Vinny oh an God. absolutely amazing low driven pass there to Kilian who absolutely just puts that one on a silver platter yeah you could see Domi really struggling to pull together a few passes and Dwayne's defense has just been suffocating so far in this game and yet another through ball nobody's in the box Rodrigo <laughs> takes it around the goalkeeper and now you can see the vine showing off a little bit takes the real lead and I think the scoreline might be a lot bigger than of what we saw in game one right and I mean again just I, I get it from Domi you have to move keeper there you see the forward take a heavy touch like we were discussing over the break yeah. you have to instinctually as a keeper move on that but it's even more composure by Divine knowing that okay I can I can force him almost bait the keeper out of net just to then be able to roll it around him so again great play there great composure and a great finish overall yeah now another opportunity for the vine he's just slicing through this defense like knife through butter and it's gonna be <laughs> another <laughs> goal for Mbappe that's the hat trick secured in the first half and you could definitely see it all derailing now for Adami way better first half last game but down 4-0 I don't even think he's had a shot on target yet in this half and Divine definitely showing 
It's the stronger of the two players at the moment than Mbappe. Looking to take it on himself. Now a couple passes. Doku is wide open on that left side, but you can't put it through the air to the shortest player on the field. Yeah. you got to keep that one down low on the ground, just like the Bayern did right there, but still loses it away. Tries to find it back, but the nice pass into the middle to De Bruyne Highland now has it in the middle. Pass it to Doku, but the offside traps from Dami have been amazing this yep. game. Uh, from the Vine, sorry, has been amazing this entire series. And he's just been able to catch Dami out every single time. I mean, especially there, Doku's speed is so great, but that's kind of one of his only good qualities. So if you catch him on a run and you're able to play that trap well, you're going to catch him almost every time. This time, however, trying to dribble around Carvajal actually maintains the dribble. But I don't necessarily agree with that pass from De Bruyne. You can just play a little slower. And now it's a great find. Shoot. Foden cuts inside, shoots, oh, but it's a save. great save from Courtois. And Dami Ten will have to sit with the corner. Yeah, I mean, Dami Ten finally showing some life here. Takes around one with Doku, who pass it into no man's land, but an instant giveaway from it. The Vine still the attack. Doku tries to take it down the flank, pass it to Holland. The shot will come through from a very tight angle, an easy save for Courtois. Doku picks it up in the corner, takes it down the line, takes it around one defender, pass it back to the Bruin. De Silva has a wide open shot here, power shot, but it's going to be blocked away from the Vine. Still the attack is on. Doku not offside this time. Can he find the pass to Holland? Yes, he does. The shot comes through the right foot, but another save for Courtois. Getting busy in the later parts of this first half, but finally going to be the ball in the Vines' possession. Now he looks to break on the counterattack. Advantage is blown twice there. Still down the line is running a couple members, but the defense is beautiful from Diaz. Takes it through the legs of the attacker. Foden finds it to Haaland. Haaland should just take it himself, but finds the pass to Foden. There's a goalie coming out. The shot comes through. Another save from Courtois. You can see Domi just isn't scoring in these scenarios. An offside there. And no goal at the end of the play. Right, I mean, I almost think that Domi heard what you said about shots on target because he immediately has just gone and I think found like at least four. Yeah. So, so again, he's finding a little bit of groove on offense, but the Vine's just playing exceptionally, like, uh, just non panicked He has great composure on defense. He's not sliding anyone. Like, he's just making sure that he uses jockey well, just covering the position. Well, that should Maybe be a goal. Do the tackle themselves. Lob through to Holland. Holland with oh, a shot far. on, but again, takes it a little bit too early, in my opinion. Could yeah. have definitely had another touch. And again, it's just coming down to the fact that I believe Dami, when he has his attacks, he just loses some composure. Heavy touch again. Again, no reason to do what? that. I have no idea what's going on there or why it's going on. A couple of very bad errand decisions from both players there. But regardless, it's going to fall to Courtois' hands unfazed. And we end the first half 4 0. Yeah, and you know, football 101, never pass it in front of your box, in front of your net if there's an attacking player. That could have been a disaster and a quick goal for Dami to get himself back into this game. But still going to be divine up 4 0. I think knowing that uh, the lead is 4 0, playing a bit more passive, allowing these attacks to come in and not really fo fully putting the gas on the, the foot on the gas. You see, uh, simple giveaway here but the attack is going to be brewing Steele comes through Vinny gets it pass it to Bellingham Bellingham looks to pass it into the middle to Rodrigo takes it around one two a couple too many step overs down. if he took <laughs> took it to the right instead of the left I think would have had a wide open opportunity but great defense there from Dami in the nick of time to clear that one out now Doku will pass it down the line to Guardiola how did he make his way all the way up here pass to the middle you can see why the center backs don't push up too far the pass is way off target and it's going to be in the possession of Divine. Well, last season we saw Guardiola play a very aggressive uh, position, even despite being in the defense. So even on Man City, you, know, you will see blinks of that, glimpses of that aggressive play style from Guardiola. But now it'll have to be uh, put to rest for the moment. Uh, the through ball, be, or so the ground pass being played over to Mbappe, but great tackle there. And now Foden on the wing, but he's going to get stripped. And now Vinny Jr., can he dribble around one? Yes, great job there. Does he have the open shot? Oh! He's going to be able to finesse it outside the box. A great job. Dami Ten or Divine noticing the keepers off his line outside the box. You can use that finesse shot there. Shades of what was really taken advantage of in EAFC 24. 
able to find it again in the AFC 25. A great job recognizing the keeper's movement there and yeah. taking advantage of it. A beautiful goal from outside the box from Vinny, and you must think that's all she wrote for this game. It's just a matter of time before Divine takes the series at two games to zero. And you could see Tommy just dribbling it for way too long. That's a disgusting challenge, referee. That has to be a red card, but <laughs> we're going to let that one pass through as Dami looks for a pass that gives it right to Chukamenia. Now it's going to be Mbappe on the 1-1. Definitely onside here. Should be able to find the finish. Easy outside of the boot. 6-0 for Real Madrid and counting. I mean, is there really like very much to talk about right now? It's just been kind of the same thing, right? I mean, Dami's passing. His mental's gotten the better of him. He's not making smart passes. As I say that, he has Doku on the wing. But we've seen this before. Ball rolled to the oh, inside, oh, trying to play it through to Holland. But great defense from Militao. So, again, you know, Dami, he's just been composing the defense. As I say that, Ruger gives it up almost. But ball falls now to Vinny Jr. Has the man on the inside. It is going to be Mbappe. Mbappe through to Rodrigo. He has the inside shot, but he's not going to. Oh, yes, okay. I was going to say, he's not going to take it too far just yet. Takes the inside touch. You love to see it. Great composure and a great finish. Hey, you can see the vine knows which spots he can shoot from when his players have balance. Takes the shot on there. Here's going to be a chance for the defense of uh, Real Madrid, probably the best in the world with their center backs. Just able, have so much pace and size. You can't have any extra seconds. And another counter, way too strong of a pass. Goalkeeper going to come out, but let's down come back into his hands as it's going to be Domi looking to start up the attack from the back. Has had zero success so far and just holding it into the double team. A terrible decision. That's going to be a pass. Not offside though. He's going to be able to hold on to it. Mbappe stands up, picks it back up, gives it to Rodrigo on the outside line here. And it has good defense set up, but can Rodrigo find anything across to the box. A skill move past defender passes back to Truka Mini. Are we going to find a shot on target here? No, great defense from Raji. Cruz that one now gives it to De Bruyne. Haaland was through on goal, but the pass didn't come through. It went to Doku instead. Heavy and that's touch. another mistake there from Adami. But it's going to be a counter tag for the Vine. Can he find a pass to the middle? That's a nice pass to Valverde. He takes it around one. The shot should come through. No, he gives it back out to Vinny, who's wide open and hits it right over the crossbar. I, I get. I mean, I sort of get like what he saw there, but you're you're through on goal. I mean, I, I think you have to play that through. Valverde should have the shot there, and he's even running on an angle where you could just travel it, right? So, yeah. Again, I would have thought that would have been the play, but nope, not quite. However, when you're already up seven nil, doesn't really matter. No. Like, I mean, he's just probably doing some super fun now. He's probably just trying to cheese Vinny finesse outside the boxes. So, we'll see. I mean, yeah, this game should be coming to an end fairly soon. 75th minute underway. One and one on keeps. The sweaty being played out. Shot not being taken. Dribbles back inside. I mean, the Vine's just having a fun day here. Tries the Travella, but it's going to get blocked out. Yeah, you can see the Vine definitely trying to hit those Travellas. And now it's going to be Vinny taking on the whole team. Still keeps it. Oh, my goodness. Fancy feet here from Vinny. <laughs> Tries some uh, bicycle shenanigans rainbow flicks didn't happen bellingham has outside the box he was a back to vinny nice pass to mbappe easy goal eight zero the vine has completely dominated this game too yeah again i think just the mental of dami got the best of him after that first game and he just couldn't lock in after advantage being played right now it's going to be Kevin De Bruyne on There's the ball, offside. able to get the pass down to Doku, but it is going to be offside yet again. Theo called it. I mean, it was going to be the same thing. It's a great line being played there by the Vine, and he's just been able to do that all series so far. Yeah, I'm surprised Domi hasn't picked up on it and just walked up with De Bruyne through the defense. He yep. just looks to pass it every time, but one touch, one big touch just gets him through on a one-on-one, -on -one. has not been able to make that adjustment. It's going to cost him dearly. He's down 8-0, so... Definitely a lot of uh, reviewing needed from this game, but that's something you don't need to review. That's going to be the ninth goal of the game. It will be saved out initially. A nice oh, double save, save, actually, from the goalkeeper, but still the ninth goal does come through. I think we might see Divine push for the tenth. He gets the ball right off, rip off. Rodrigo has a chance. He goes for the chip. A little bit of a scissor kick from Mbappe for the tenth goal of the game as it's been complete annihilation with the clock taking down here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't really have words. <laughs> Tommy's just trying to like, just make sure the clock just stops. He just doesn't want to concede an 11. You know, it's interesting. I thought the change to Rodri might bolster the defense a little more, but I don't think it so. just did the complete opposite. 
I, I mean, yeah, the, there's not, it's just hard. You can't really comment on it. It's just great play from the Vine. We clearly see who the more composed player is right now out of the two. And with that being the last minute, it should just be the next hold of the ball to end the game. It will be just that. A great series from the Vine. And I mean, there's not a lot to break down. No. If you could break it down, Theo, I'll let you have a shot on it as Mbappe has seven goals. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think game one, the Vine just kind of felt uh, felt out his opponent, looked how he played, and he realized how effective that of Side Trap could really be. And in game two, he was way more composed on the attacking side as he was able to take the victory relatively easily with a 10-0 victory in game two. Yeah, I mean, that's series. Yeah, that's it. 2-0. Nice, easy. The Vine, amazing. I mean, I, <laughs> the Vine, I, yeah, I'll be honest. Uh, the composure in the first game from both of them, there were moments where they lacked a little bit, but the Vine, the second, the second half went down. He just completely locked in. He was like, okay, I know what I need to do now. Everything's smooth. I've picked out his defense. I figured it out. Yeah. Second game, I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> I don't really have a word for it. All I can say is it's looking good as St. Clair picks up a win on the board. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That was a good game from them. But that's not going to be it for us today. We still have one more series. It's going to be Rocket League coming up at R6. Rock. Yeah, uh, just started with both R start with R. R. It yeah, yeah, makes sense. All good. <laughs> R6. We R6. got some R6 coming up. It's going to be CCL week three, I want to say. Yeah, CCL week three coming up soon. It's going to be St. Clair versus SFU, and it comes up after the short break.